Hello and welcome to PKR TV. On tonight's show, the highlights from a $3, $6 cash game from back in June. The buy-in is $1,500, which means plenty of decent players have crawled out of the woodwork. The cast includes Team Pro Wellbet, Patato Salatas, and two Masters Champions. Joining me to find out the good and the bad of cash game poker is Team Pro Scott Shelley. Well, Amazing. more Cash Game TV, more sick lineups for you. And with this man, Patato Salatus, at the table, you can Fold. be guaranteed action Fold. and creativity. Well, right they're playing 3 Let's 6. Short handed right now. She's playing a lot more short handed these days. Right. Let's see what she's learned. She's got position and two overs and a gut shot against the hyper-aggressive Greek. I fold. But she doesn't fancy it much. Doesn't put up much of a fight there. A grimace from Scott oh, Shelley. Oh, really least peeled one there. <laughs> well, the thing is with him, there's just implied odds everywhere you look, yeah. surely. I'm you... probably raising to get it in there against him. <laughs> I ain't even playing though, I say that. But, yeah, but you like, yeah. as we've said before, you raise against him. He's definitely coming back. Well, we've at got you. two overs and a gut shot here. <laughs> it's the nuts against him. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's see. Is this short handed? Is this a short handed table it's... or are we just lacking customers at I this point? I think particular? we're lacking customers for right. seats. Well, Carl. hopefully they'll fill up. But in the meantime, a name we have not seen before Asanator oh, 21. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow, and look at this. Indeed, Wellbet's going to pop it up. We know that for a fact. Interesting to see the sizing here. I would probably make it about... 41? Oh. No, way more. 60, oh, more, 65? More, more. Yeah, I like it. 67, here we go. Potato. You don't want to make it too small because that looks just too strong when, it, yeah. when there's rays in two quarters. Yeah, well, potato... But you don't want to price them out as yep. well, obviously. Well, she loses one customer. A senator, he... he he flatted behind yeah. Potato's three bet, and now he flats again. He just loves the look of that Jack Seven of Spades. I was going to say, if anyone was going to peel, it was going to be the Jack Seven All on right. the bottom. Comes the flow. Oh, he's got absolutely squad douche. How has he even got seven percent in this hand? I'd really like a really small bet here. It, on is, these sort of it, if it's a flops. six of diamonds, what does that seven percent go Actually. down to? Because then he loses his. He, he loses it. It's just. I can't believe he's got seven percent. It's ridiculous. Well, bet checks after four betting. Pre, which is a bit uh, well. It's an interesting line that I don't. I wasn't expecting. Wow, and it's just working out beautifully here. Yeah, I mean, we assume she's going to flat. I'd have probably prefer to bet weak than to check, just yeah. because checking okay. looks more strong than weak. Well, especially if you raise I here. Know. Yeah. Oh, well, that she's four bet pre, and then check raised a completely dry flop. Yeah. And Let's wow, have and ten picks ten up a caller. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he's he's gone from 7% to 18%, which is like a massive win right now. <laughs> you just knew as soon as he peeled wow, the totally table was covered in spades. It'd be interesting if Wellbet checks I'm here, but it. she jams 6 9 four. So It's a pot-sized bet. It's more than pot. Oh, well, actually, oh, yeah. he, he snaps go. through. Oh, oh, my God. Really? Wow. And, uh, well, he's just gone for a scalp there, right? He's just wanted to take a pot off. Well, not take a pot off. I just, don't know what he was doing, but... We we don't like that line much. No. Well, he calls uh, he calls I the three really bet, like then he calls hand. the four bet pre flop, and then he bets flop, which is fine, I suppose, oh. because it your was opponents a, checked. Um, well bet three bet pre flop, just no, like no, open I, free flop from Potato. I thought, oh, was it? No, yeah, no. yeah, it was eighteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. We've no, just no, been was... commenting on a one two, so, so I'm, you I'm thinking in... like, yeah. <laughs> there was never an open to eighteen. No, indeed, indeed. Well, there we go. But then you know he calls the turn, which is you know something. Uh, uh, no, the flop uh, oh no, call. Sorry. The flop call was really weird. Oh yeah, because he got check raised. The Min flop. raised, and then he flatted. We've basically back doors, nothing but back doors. And then doors. once he hit back door, he called off. Yeah. Uh, well, Wellbet will will have taken that in her stride, as we well know. There are others who would have been on Twitter straight away and uh, threatening things that get you into trouble. I wouldn't with have the been police. on Twitter, but I would have been going absolutely ballistic in my room. I'll, yeah. I'll be honest with you. You wouldn't put your fist through the wall, a la James six six six, but no. I would have probably hit something that I know wasn't going to hurt me too much and wasn't going to break. That you didn't need a builder to come and fix. Just like hit the like hit the sofa or something. Like, yeah. Like the, the harder bit of the sofa, so you get a bit of yeah, bit of impact. You don't want to hit cushion. <laughs> you don't get no, no release out no, of just hit right, cushion, right. do you? Oh my god! Well, that was disgusting. Yeah, but that onwards was, we go. Yeah, I'm sure she would, she took it a lot better than I would have. Yeah, anyway. I, I think so. I would have she, taken it pretty badly. She's probably fist pumping the Sklansky bucks, isn't she? She's like that. She's probably <laughs> like yes. Stick that in the blog. I, I won, sort of, today. <laughs> Moral victories are worth I the same. 
She's unusual in that respect. Uh, well, here we go. And uh, the man who inflicted that rather appalling damage has got nothing, and you would imagine... It's going to raise. <laughs> he, he gets, well, he gets out of the way, and it's uh, it's kind of an unfortunate river for Thoese. Um, yeah, it's... Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... I'm sure... Well, well, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for a little bit of value. It's not the biggest pot in the world... Okay, right yeah, now, yeah, you, pot size-wise, you're pretty right. And also, you don't feel like your opponent's going to be check-raising you here, do you? No. It, it seems like yeah, he's yeah. trying to get to showdown. Back. He's checked back, fine. You know, there we go. Come across Thois or King Kong. Thois is someone uh, King we, Kong, we've seen for a couple of years King now. King Kong a little bit. Thois, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I've played with, on this table, I've played with Twister, Potato, King Kong a tiny bit, Jay yeah. Doom, Barky Boy, yeah. and well um, bit a little bit. It's a decent lineup. Half yeah. of these half of these guys or gals are, are well-known and oh, accomplished oh. players, mm -hmm. certainly on PKR at least. Yeah, I mean, all the ones I mentioned are all yeah. regs that are winning players. Yeah. And here we go. Potato rarely passes up an opportunity. There he I does. Fold. Yeah, King Seven off. Yeah. Not the no. Not the best. Of, he's going to fold a hand. He, li he likes the 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 seven three of clubs, the nine three of diamonds, these various hands, but not the King Seven. A Sanator riding high from his slaying of fold. Fold. Team Pro's first lady. Yeah, he's, he's done what he came to do. <laughs> <That's right. Yes. laughs> he snaps it out. You're going to see Kings Grand Mark don't need to play these anymore. <laughs> oh my God. He must have loved that river. What a disgusting river. But we move on. We are biased, but so what? We're, well, we're biased. Well, not really. We would have said it to anyone. Then. No, I, yeah. I it was a really right. ugly outdraw, in yeah. all honesty. It was, it is, it it was, was ugly. pretty damn ugly. Yeah. Ugly line. Even if I hated outdraw. the person it happened to, I'd have said it was ugly. <laughs> I think you would have laughed, actually. Well, yeah, I would have said, haha, but that was ugly. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, right. shame on you, but it was ugly. Yeah, so yeah. whereas we were like, oh, no. Yeah, well, yeah. So there's a hint of it Okay. There. Yeah, but so what? There's got to be Team uh, Pro Solidarity somewhere yeah. on the line. Except when you're like playing against Bane and then you're like ha 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 when you well, beat him up here comes the yeah, I've, yeah I've been on, I've been playing PKR two months already been slow rolled once by Bane but yeah, it's just it's yeah. just obvious when he does it though that's the worst yeah, part about yeah. it <laughs> he needs to mix it up no now, but it was he? it was funny because I think he was doing it in a spot where he thought I was dead and I actually had outs no, and I was yeah. waiting for him to call with his flush knowing he had a flush <laughs> it's come club 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 I've got a set and I'm like come on just pair the board <laughs> <laughs> I think Bane needs to like mix it up now so he actually needs to tank call when he hasn't got it just yeah. so that like he loses but he, he makes people think yeah that... I, I knew straight away he had the nut flush as soon as he started the emotes and started right. thinking oh. for a second so what he needs to do now is like to like tank for ages so yeah. that people think oh I'm getting slow roll yeah, and then it doesn't end up being a slow yeah. roll just to mix it that's the advice Vladimir fold tilt you hard is uh, hoping to do fold. that to someone with the king queen of spades yeah very good looking hand Barky gets out of the way. Masters champion Jenny Doom. Cool. Not in the hand. And Twister Let's defends with the uh, Raggy Ace. Oh, Jenny Doom is in the hand. Not much for anyone. Jenny's flopped middle Jenny pair. Jenny. And a monster, but it seems Check. like she's disconnected, so she's not going to play a part in this hand. Check. She'll collect right. the 33, Let's though. See the river. Yeah, I think she'll be more than happy that when she returns to see that she made profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check. Well, it there looks, you yeah, she she uh, wouldn't have made nothing from either of these two, most likely. Oh, she's only going to get the pre-flop, uh, the <laughs> equivalent to the blind. Oh, yeah, that's right, because of the way the it works. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Ace high good. <laughs> Ace high collects 30 bucks. 20 odd bucks, but yeah. yeah. Come on, let's see some huge four-figure pots. Indeed. Could see a 3k pot. Indeed, you could. Likely to involve the man at the top. We've got two Master oh, Champions yeah. here. Of course, Twister86. Won it some time ago now. Yep. Still waiting for Scott Shelley's Masters oh. win. I've only had two attempts. Yeah, well, from the man who said to me, I'm going to win it on the first time I play it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well done on that one. Congrats. Yeah. Fold, fold. Third time, then, is it? Yeah. You going to play this weekend? If I'm this Saturday? If I'm not I call. playing day oh, yeah. two of Dust Till Dawn, I will be. Yep, true. True that. Yeah, uh, I will be. Okay, well... well I'm already registered. Want to see already? <laughs> I'm pre book mate. pre book <laughs> okay. I'm in the re registered list. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Potato opens to 24 with pocket eights. Oh, Virtually the nuts for this guy. 
Cool. Flats from Welbeck, who wow, go, goes the passive route. Cool. Twister. Perfect spot for him to three bet. Does not do I so. Cool. Brings in the 6 5 off. Here's the flop. Boom. Well, I was about to say ace queen eight would be funny. <laughs> it would. But that's close enough. It's pretty close. Yeah. Twister's going to do a little bit of money here, especially with Ace of Diamonds. He's not going to be going to go anywhere if um, Diamond peels on the turn. Yeah, and Welbeck needs to get some money in this pot. And, of course, doesn't really want to give any free cards. There are straights and flushes yeah. that could appear on the turn. She, like the bet size. She goes two-thirds pot. I am liking the bet size. And the question for Twister now is... Oh, cool. What do you do? Yeah, I don't think you can raise here after oh, flat right. calling. You don't want to raise just to get rid of the other two. I mean, the other two have gone out anyway. But yeah, okay. I'm, right. I'm, yeah. Obviously, it's a draw every ball. You don't even want to go multi way. But I think I prefer calling here just okay. to. Seems like a fairly innocuous turn. Nothing's really changed, and Twister yeah. in check call mode. Yeah, he's he's 100 percent calling this bet, and then we'll see what the river does. Yeah, this pot's gonna. She's well. Oh wow! Oh, wow. He, he goes for the raise here, which is interesting. Wellbet, uh, and now does that put Wellbet in call mode, or does she jam it in? Oh no, well, oh. well, well, you're expecting the jam there. Oh. Ooh, that's unfortunate. But it might slow yeah, down both of them. Yeah, I would have expected the jam just because <clears throat> Twister moves in, and this is a very tough spot for Wellbet. He gets, she, she gets check raised, and she passes pretty quickly. Come on, son. Give me the analysis here. Well, in my opinion... You're the expert. I would have stacked off the turn and I would have called the river okay. and she did the opposite of both. <laughs> so I don't know yeah. if I... Uh, I have to say, I like the the river pass. Like, it's, it's difficult when to know how you When he raises the turn, be. yeah, it's just like... Well, you're either you're either beat there or or if you read him for any number of those draws, then you're but beat the, the on the river. But the deuce doesn't improve his hand. You know that for a fact. So yeah, it's, but it's, nowadays... If you why can, is you can, raising the turn with yeah, a draw? You can credit... Although it wasn't a very big check raise, it was virtually check min raise. Oh. But you can credit someone for check raising with a strong draw raise. there, or a combo, some sort of combo hand. It's a it's a tricky one, and I suppose yeah. we're finding. I'm interested it tricky to know why she didn't just get it in on the turn, well, not get it in, but oh. put it back on the turn. Yeah, she could have put it back because her turn. hand is like the nuts on the turn. Yeah, and why uh, did he check raise the turn there? It was just kind of a strange one, really, and yeah. so small too. But anyway, he must have felt he was ahead, but out of position to Wellbet, who's barreling. You, you've you got to feel like one pair might not be good there, but uh, Carlo, a.k.a. Sorry. Twister, obviously felt it was the time to put okay, the move. Okay, let's see the flop. Three to the flop, and it looks good for King Check. Kong. I reckon I'll make Assassinator. <clears throat> Flag test. I bet. Um, I know that one. I do know that one. Fight. All right, mate. You can have a... You can Slovakia. Have a, yeah, it's Slovakia. Is this, oh, I'm the best. Come on, that's not even an <laughs> easy one, is it? Well, how can you be the best if it's not an easy one? No, but... I Take it back. Take it Slovakia, back. Knowing what... Fla knowing the Slovakian flag is it, pretty damn good. Oh, I thought I thought you said that's I'm an easy one, and now you're saying... No, it's, it's not an easy... Good. Oh, I think... It's okay. not an easy one. Well, all right. Say, say in I Germany, understand. that's the German flag. <laughs> that is a bloody easy one. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. Uh, King Queen here, uh, drawing dead. I told you the 5-3 is going to win this. It does well. The five three. Well, although it's chopping. It, a yeah, lot of rivers. indeed, <laughs> indeed. What with the five percent? And it can't hit a five. Yeah, Mister Five Percent. Well, Still gonna win. He's the three's good. Three ball. Three ball would be good. And uh, does he bet? He's got the green light to bet. And you know, I suppose you could just try and end it now. And he's. Uh, got, yeah, I, I don't he mind. He's bet. got some equity. I don't mind this bet because. L likelihood is when the river comes, your opponent's going to check you a lot of the time. You can check back for showdown, and also you've got a draw now. So if oh. you do improve, you can bet Here again. Here comes the river. Ace five calls, and it's a three hundred and six dollar pot. Question is, Asanator, does he take the showdown value, or does he bet the river turn his hand into a bluff? I bet. He's turned it into a bluff. Two hundred and four dollars. You can see King Kong making this call because he's made the call on the turn, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I would imagine him he's going to make the call, but maybe the backdoor hearts is something that he put him on when he uh, bet the turn. Yeah, he's having trouble making the call. It seems like he at least made, he found the call on the turn easier because he developed an open-ender. So he isn't I valuing think. the ace, and he passes and the bet gets through. So he didn't value his ace at all. It was the it, it was the open ender that attracted him on the turn. Hand. Maybe it was because it was backdoor hearts and he saw the backdoor spades before and he was like, I'm <laughs> absolutely out of the game here. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. Absolutely need to get out of this pot. Well, uh, the semi-bluff gets through. Well, I suppose it was 
not so much a semi bluff as the bluff. Fold. Honestly, well bet three barrel bluff, but I so that indeed. That'll make my day. Or just call him down with King High. Oh, that would be great. That would be, be better. That would be great. She might get the chance here as Potato opens with the Queen. Asana Tor loved the Jack Seven of Spades. That means he must love the I Ten can't. Seven of Diamonds, yeah. and he does. King Jack Kong's Nine, oh, oi, oi. we are going. She's multi got the King way. High. You said she has got the King <laughs> High, but King High is probably not going to be good in this pot. And Barky's going to love the Ten Seven of Clubs. Yeah, he's not going to be going anywhere. Wow, and 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 between it's like the whole range here is seven to King. Unbelievable. So it's probably going to come like five deuce deuce, and it will be totally boring. Whoa! Barky wakes up and says, hang on, there's, uh, there's what, 20, 46... I call you. There's like 70 bucks in this hand. I'm Potato gonna... Slash is like, what have I call? That everyone else is going to call. Wow, this is crazy here. Barky makes a big three bet to try and take it down. He sees there's dead money in the pot. No way is this going to go five ways, surely. Asana Tor just can't... He's got the chips. Surely he's got to make the call here. Um, he's cool. Oh, <laughs> he gets out of the way. Fold. King Kong gets yeah. out of the way, and Barky's got it heads up. So at least Let's in that respect, his odds have gone up. Oh dear, Potato's got lucky, and Barky's got like okay. zero chance of winning this. Good thing would be for an eight to pop off, <laughs> and he's just getting it in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got eight outs. Oh no, maybe not with all them uh, blockers. Well, Potato's got oh, two choices. He, he makes the most predictable one, which is the call. Barky, he's representing something, but uh, if you know him well, you'll know that he's got moves. Doesn't have to have Check. aces or kings Check. or Let's ace queen here. He, river. he checks and gives up, and now it's just a question for Potato of how does he get value. Yeah, he's, he's it's got not his fingers crossed that he gets a bet here and he oh, does. Oh, wow. Barky decides, well, Potato's called me fairly light on the flop. We've checked, checked the turn. Okay, I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that didn't work out very well for Barky. The the bet on the river, it was it was 360 bucks. Do you think you have to bet the river after check checking the turn and I it's been checked back to you? Hand. Thing is, Potato's a good enough player that if he's called you light on the flop Fold. and you've checked the turn to him, yeah, he's, he's probably, probably going to call you on light on the river. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, respect to Barky for having a go, but it never looked likely to work out, even if even if Potato didn't have the, the two pair, or even maybe the queen. Like, if you had a second or third pair, we've seen Potato's... He's Race. got the Fold. smarts to call you down with less than top pair. I'm going to call. Oh, Opens to 21 with Queen 10. Gets immediately three bet. Asana Tor to Ace Queen. This game, like others that we've seen recently, is playing bigger than the stakes suggest. Yeah. Barky flats. Go on, Twister. Sl find it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, baby. Well, we don't often see cold four bets, and Twister may not be the man to do it. 250. Yeah, he does Four. not do it. I call you. Potato brings it in. Um, Let's see the and this pot's 225 straight away. <laughs> uh, nothing for anyone. And uh, it's still up Check. for grabs, this pot. Yeah. And Ace King gives up. Well, again, I, I can understand why he has against okay. these two. But Sandwich I between these two guys. Uh, yeah, I'd probably Fold. bet. Barky Barky's going to take it down. Yeah, he's... Okay, I'm gonna call. Oh, I did say that, and then as oh soon as I said my. it, I realised that that might not be the case. Yeah, it might not be the case. Um... Asana Tor, he, he pretty quickly check calls with ace high. Pot is now 5-2-5. Five, five. You, you get the impression check. a big bet from Barky here. Well, they're playing about 800 deep. Barky's got I a bet. tricky one because it's the five of spades. He wants this pot, though. Bet's 2-7-5. It's not that much bigger than the flop bet. Cool. But crucially, it's there's only one card to come here. A Sanator. Can he oh, make this call? Nah, he doesn't. He Hoping for an ace or a king, basically, or for his opponent to give up on the turn, right? Yeah, I guess that's... I think he was literally peeling the flop to try and peel a pair, but... Hmm. Interesting. Right then. What's his name again? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Add... Tag, tag, tag. 
Well, we shall see. We shall see. Damn it, I haven't noticed his oh, name when I've been playing either. Yeah, we're about to announce a full schedule of PKR TV for September, which will include Cash Game TVs on various Tuesday nights. So get involved. Scott Shelley will be there. We remember we spoke Tuesdays. True. Is going to be moved to Wednesdays. Oh, whatever. Well, maybe. We'll, 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 oh. we'll do it for oh. you. Or Mondays. We'll make it... Monday, yeah. Okay. Mondays. Okay, we can Yeah, do Mondays that. is a boring night on PKR. Cool. For me, anyway. <laughs> There's no high roller. All right. Let's do it. Okay, we can do that. In the meantime, Patatas Alatas, three betting Twister. These two going at it. And uh, they are deep enough that Twister could peel. I suppose. Oh the thing God. is, you, you could also put in a four bet here, but against Patata Salatas, yeah. how often is it going to get through? Yeah, oh I would have said God. if he was in position, he was always flat calling, right. but because he was out, <laughs> yeah. obviously there's a chance. He's disconnected. He's uh, got the hands. Yeah, he's disconnected. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah. like, the nuts. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. He would have preferred to have been <laughs> connected Yeah, because he's, <laughs> he's winning that hand. Potato, strength to strength here, and uh, you can see why he turns up to these cash game yeah. TV tables. Pretty much runs the show. Do you think you'd ever do an Omaha TV cash game? We can do, and we have done once before, but unfortunately... Uh, because of the way the system is set up, we yeah. don't see okay. the percentages, which it helps if we're talking yeah. about uh, decent stakes Omaha cash games. Yeah. Um, so not at the moment, basically. Probably not a good moment. thing for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh. But uh, certainly, get stuck in and Shelley will be there soon. Fold. Imagine. Imagine taking a pot off Shelley and then him having to commentate on it head in hands. Unbelievable. I'm I'm having to give you props on air. Imagine that. But you would, though. You would, though. Well, I'll explain why I made that dodgy call. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) I did did that to Ghost the other day. Right. Okay, here comes the Uh, Potato opens, picks up a call from Barky. No surprise to see these two. Heads up. Uh... Barky and boy's got a piece of it. He flats. He just knows the five's coming on the turn just to just to spice things up uh, a there bit. There we go. And he's Sat- got enough to follow up on the turn. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna get tricky for Barky, but you know, you know, you can't just give pots up early on to these guys. You, you can't, to- but it's not like Potato feels that Barky's one of the people can't. that's gonna just give up. Yeah. Let's see the river. Well, check. Potato. I mean, does he think he's got enough to check call here? Barky's obviously well, going to go for value. Yeah, I mean, he's checking to hopefully <laughs> yeah. get to showdown, but... He, it's a it's a fairly big bet. Two-thirds pot. Is Potato... Now, this is the kind of situation where people, if Potato makes the call, might... Those who aren't f- that familiar with his play or perhaps who have lost to him a few times yeah. might think that he's a bit fishy. If he decides to make this call, and you can see that he... He's trying to figure out if there's any chance there go. it call. can be good. And sure enough, he Ooh. makes the call. And you know what? People might look at that and say he's he's fired flop with nothing. Yeah. He's developed a draw, so he's fired the turn, which is fine. And yeah. then he hits like a minimum amount of showdown value on the river and check calls $222. How, it, what side of the line is that, really? Fishiness or... You know, it, it's fishiness, stubbornness, or is he? I don't think he's played it. Okay? In a, I don't think he's the, the the way he's played the hand is not fishy. Okay, but the Amazing. call's a bit light. It's a bit light on the end. But there's hands he's beating. Yeah, but it makes him hard to bluff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, no, surely no, it makes him hard to like, bluff. I don't think he's calling a lot of people there. I think because right. it's Barky, he's okay. He figures that Barky's going to show up with Jack Ten sometimes there yep. in hands like that. Yeah. Obviously, there's no flush draw, so there's only, there's only a few possible draws that miss. So. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, now we're in the last hand of the session and a last opportunity for someone to show their skills. Potato opens 4X with the mighty suited Shelly. Gets callers from the 3-4 oh. suited, from the 8-2 and tilt you hard. Played one or two hands, but uh, it may well be the last hand of the oh. session, but he decides not. We're three-way here, and no surprise to see three of the most active players. And, uh, well, a gut shot for Barky with backdoor draws two. Second pair for Potato. And the uh, best hand is the eights. Interesting to see how Barky plays it. Sandwiched between Potato and Twister. He flats. He can get loads of money if he hits yeah. this straight. He thinks, anyway. <laughs> and actually, if he did hit it, it would develop the open ender for Potato, so fireworks would ensue. Cool. And for Twister. Right, 
Right. Check. They both have an open end if it came in. Uh, but it does not Good come. Luck. But uh, Barky's hand bad. improves. Yep. And here's the river. Not to be. A brick on the end. Potato may well feel like his hand's good. Barky knows his hand is not good. And it's may sick well... if it goes... Check. I was going to say, it's sick go. if Barky bets Twister folds yeah. and Potato um, comes. And there we go. Last hand goes to Twister. <laughs> Glad to get to showdown. And he wins it. Fascinating session. No surprise to see the man at the top of the leaderboard at the end, Patato Salatas. He ends up some 763 bucks up. Uh, well bet, rather unfortunate. It just shows that in, in a two hour session, one hand can be your downfall. And she did nothing wrong there. Very first hand of the session with the aces and was up against Asana Tor, who got to somewhat lucky with, uh, what was it? What did he have? Jack Seven <laughs> suited Jack there. Seven of Spades, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of weird. I mean, the way the hand played out, well bet's line looked super strong on the flop when she... Was it she called... She, did she four bet? Yeah, she did. And, and then he she, called. And then on the, the driest of flops, I think it was... Was it King Deuce 3 once made? Yeah, he flopped. Like Rainbow. She's uh, check min raised. It just looks like what she has, really. And he's, he's still peeled with, like, no hand, no yeah. draw. Yeah, and then he developed a draw, but was, called with no odds, really, on the turn. Yeah, he's, he's turned his draw, so now he's actually got some equity in the hand. And well bet's given him like no chance to get there because she's put him in. And he's, he still found the call and he got there. Oh well, and yeah. uh, incredible action from Potato at Barkey, but mm. to go back and watch it again because we haven't got any more time yeah. from me and Scott. See you next time.